all right y'all sorry it's dark out i always i always start checking pretty early but got us our nice first coon of the year here i'll start showing you guys some more stuff once it's light outside but figured i'd just show you the first one at the second location all right guys just figured i'd show you this one this is probably the driest coon we're gonna catch all day and it's raccoon number four so anyways we'll get him taken care of and we'll be moving on all righty y'all again i apologize though it's dark outside but we got our first dry double we got one down in the water earlier but this one here is a really big coon but yeah there's our first double we're at 13 or 14 for the day already so we'll be moving on down the road all right guys uh got two coon and two 20s on this side of the road come over to the other side we got another coon and a 220 right here um and none of them are very big but if they're 220 then i don't really care how big they are so i'll go ahead and pull this one out and then i'll get the rest of them here but i'll show you guys the remake on this one if i can figure it out myself here there we go just like I do my 330s guys, right between my legs. Push it down. You guys probably got a coon tail in your face. Push it down. There's one. Same thing, other side. Get my rat stretcher out of the way. Push that baby down. Safety. Come on. If I can get my safety to cooperate there we go this baby reset here like so where's my muskrat stretcher here it is put it right back in on this little slope here blend it in all nice oh. He didn't, he didn't cause much of a mess, so I can just reuse the grass I already had here. Run that through the muskrat stretcher. I need just a little bit to the other side. Jam that in there. And there we go, guys. There's another one. I'll go get these other two out of the trap, and we'll be down the road. All right, y'all, just want to show you this. Uh, we got a nice, probably 2X coon here. Um, coming from a bean field, there's a cornfield behind me, but the reason I set this, right over this hill, there's one of them hog buildings. You guys know I love my hog buildings, so hey, you gonna bite my gun? Yeah, he's a frisky guy. We'll get him taken care of and get out of here. All right, y'all, got a nice, nice big 4X coon here. Really dark guy. Uh, he's just coming from a barn back there, going to another series of barns behind me, so. Yeah, that's a nice, big, beautiful coon going through this tube here. We'll get him taken care of. All right, guys, we're at another one here. Really nice, big 3X coon. Um, we've been plugging away right after him. I was worried about the moon last night and how they'd move with that big, bright moon, but they definitely moved pretty good. Truck's starting to fill up. So we'll get him taken care of and get down the road. All right, guys, we got a nice, big double here. Uh, that one's probably three close to 4X. That one's a big 2X, so definitely worth keeping um really nice coon we're, we're starting to pile them we're, we got to be 20 plus right now so we're definitely piling them up guys it's gonna be a good day all right y'all as you can see we got two on drowners here i uh, just had a pocket in there and a pocket in there drowners run out to this deep pool and we got two more of them so we'll get this remade and be moving down the road all right y'all that's what i love to see one flopped out of the trail that was right there one stretched all the way out down here. Trail's right here. That's awesome. Two really nice, nice big coon. I'm assuming they're probably both boars. Um, this is kind of a high and dry trail perpendicular fence. Ooh, I don't know what I'm kneeling on, but it doesn't feel good. Get these babies off these coon. Come on. There we go. Yeah. And guys, if you want to know why I don't use setters, it's because I would lose them. So that's why I don't bring them, because I just lose them. I don't need to lose them. I do use them to preset all these um, before season starts. 
Uh, my rat stretcher is still in the trail over there. So there's one. That's actually a sow. But she doesn't have a bunch of bunch of tits on her, so she's probably all right. Here's number two. He's fully stretched out down this way. Try and get him out of here quick. Compress the springs. I'll show you guys this trail is really not even that great. I just like setting two if I can and 220 trails for chance of picking up something other than a coon. Um, my safety down there. There we go. Two really nice big coon there, guys. Get this up. I can find my other rat stretcher. It should be laying around somewhere up here, but I'll figure that out in a minute. I'll show you guys a remake on this one over here. We've 220 quite a few coon today, guys. I'm really happy about that. And then I can harvest the skull off of them as well. I did end up 220ing a possum that was still alive. That was kind of weird, but went up to grab the springs and he started moving on me. So made it kind of interesting. We're just chugging right along today though. We probably got 30, mid 30s in the back of the truck right now, maybe low 30s, something like that. Uh, no specialty yet. I did miss a beaver, which made me pretty mad, but I think a lot of it had to do with the water dropped like a foot in there from yesterday when we were getting all that rain. Water's starting to settle down again. So I fixed that set up and we'll be all right. But that baby's fixed. Here's another rat stretcher. I was standing on it, of course. Why not? That's my luck. I'll go ahead and show you guys this other remake here. Um, but I love running these long cables. Uh, it wasn't my idea. But now that I use them, I absolutely love them. Because you guys saw both those coon were well out of this trail. And it keeps the smell of death out of the trail as well. So get this baby put right back in here where I had it in this pinch point. A little bit off the ground. I don't... Height off the ground for me, guys, doesn't really matter for a 220. Um, I just don't want them sitting on the ground. I'd say a minimum of an inch, inch to three or four inches, probably something like that. I don't know. I don't measure it or anything. I just eyeball it, but get some more of this grass here. Tucked in there. There we go, guys. There's tucked a little bit of that. I like to break the outline of the jaw on there, but take these suckers over to the truck here. I'll show you guys how we're doing. Yeah, as you guys can see, this is all 220 coon, dry fluffy coon, wet coon over there, then drowned coon over there. So we're piling them. All righty, everyone. Got a really nice double here. Got a nice big coon right there. Come around the corner, he's hiding now. Got a, another nice coon in there. So we're plugging away at him. This is a really good location here. You got a big brush pile going to a timber draw with corn on the other side. So. We're gonna get these big boys taken care of. This coon here is huge, so we'll be getting down the road. All right, guys, we got another triple here. I got one here, one sitting there, then got one all torn up over there. So we're piling them. The 220 box is chuck full, so we're about to drop off. My uncle's meeting me. I'm gonna dump a bunch of coon in his truck. So we'll get these guys taken care of and get them remade. Well, guys, Mr. Cooney here's got two hands in the cookie jar here. He's not very happy with me. I'm gonna get him taken care of. All right, guys, relocation number 100 here. We got a big cornfield and a timber behind me. We got two DPs in here, but I only see one coon. There's something in this. I'm not sure what it is. Oh, it's another coon. We got a double here. Got a double here too, if you guys can see that. He's back in there. But um, then we got another one. Playing, playing hide and seek down in the tube. So we'll get them taken care of and be moving on down the road. All right, guys, 
Got us another nice big 3X coon here. Um, this is just a deer trail, and I trap it every single year for coon. Uh, reason being, there's a gate opening on the back side of this with a pasture. So these big coons are running through this stuff, guys. They just put a DP in there and avoid the deer, and you'll pick up some big coon in the deer trails too. All right, y'all, this is uh, the first drop off. Got to empty my truck here. We're not even halfway done yet, but we got a pile of them. So we'll get them unloaded here and I'll count them out and see how many there is so far. And we'll be getting down the road. All right, guys, we just dropped off. We're at location number 123 and we just dropped off 87 coon. So it's going to be a huge day. Um, quite possibly the biggest day ever put on film on YouTube. If you want me to be honest, I'm, I don't know what the raccoon in a day record is for YouTube, but we're, we're going to be close. We'll see. I think we're probably definitely going to break that 100 coon in a day mark, which has been a goal of mine for a while now. So just get our 220 compressed. This is actually coon number four in a 220 today. So that's awesome as well. That's my best day by a long shot in 220s. I'll go ahead. We just got this. Nice little channel going through here. There's actually some water going through here yesterday as there was like everything else because we got so much rain, but get this baby set. We'll put her right back into that grass funnel they got going through here. I don't really like how he died up in the trail, but I'll, I'm still gonna put it back in there. I'm not too worried about it. Open up that funnel, tuck that 220 back in there like that. Some grass, whip down, kind of funnel them a little bit. They already funnel through here, so I'm not that worried about funneling them. But as you guys know, I really like to block them in. So, yeah, there we go, guys. There's number 88 for the day. All right, guys, not exactly sure what happened here, but I showed up to a dead can and there's a big hole in it. And it looked like someone pulled my pogo out of the ground and threw it down here. I don't know what's going on with that. But we're just gonna put it back here. Someone wants to mess with my stuff. They're the one doing illegal things. I'm not, so I guess that's gonna be a them problem if I keep seeing it happen. Um, fill that DP back up. We'll get our coon here and be moving on. Alrighty, everyone. Got us another nice coon here. Um, he's actually sleeping right now. So, <clears throat> the trap hurt him that much, I don't think he'd be sleeping with it on his foot. So, I think he's just fine. We're, uh, oh, hi, buddy. We're going to go ahead and get him taken care of, and we'll be down the road. Um, we're probably over that 100 mark. I have no idea what we're at, but we're going to keep chugging along. All right, we got a really nice big coon here down in this creek. Um, had three sets in here. Kind of surprised I only had one, but it's one really big one, so we'll definitely take him. Uh, we're just over halfway through the line. Probably getting close to probably, I don't know, five eighths done or whatever if you want to get technical. But yeah, we'll get them taken care of and get out of here. All right, you guys. We got two really nice coon here. That one's probably about a 3X. This one's just a tank. But yeah, two more going in the truck. Been an awesome day. All right, guys. You watched me make this set yesterday. This 220 going up this trail, going over top of a. Uh, culvert here so I figured I'd show you a remake this is actually there's two DPs on the other side down in the culvert and they didn't catch anything so the 220 is the only thing that caught one kind of surprised by that honestly with how good the trail is but figured I'd give you guys a remake since I showed you me setting it so go ahead and get this baby reset it's a nice can too guys I have 220 probably 30 some coon today it's quite a few so that's a nice 3x coon so definitely cannot complain about that at all fix my triggers they really bend up these triggers sometimes guys just make sure you fix it before you reset it and guys this 220 in particular you got to be careful with um, i have a couple like this just because and I was getting into trapping pretty hard. Um, I bought quite a few used 220s, but this trigger on here is a homemade one, or the safety is a homemade one, and it's on there the wrong way for how I trap. So you got to be careful when you're setting it because that safety will fall off of there. But 
slide a rat stretcher back in there pop our trap back in this trail i need to just find some grass to block them down with again we'll be good to go definitely a nice little trail here big cornfield on the other side nice timber draw coming up to it so definitely a textbook dryland coon location right here guys there we go Let's see how she looks oh yeah she's ready for another one down the road gosh you guys it's about time i haven't caught a skunk all day here we are i don't even know what location we're at we are quite a ways through the line this is the first one really pretty skunk but I had, to, I had to make sure he's dispatched. He made it quite a ways through that trap there. I was kind of worried, but I, I can't smell any skunk yet. Once I get to squeezing, we'll see, but I don't smell any right now, so that's good. But yeah, I, I really want to catch a bunch of skunks this year. Definitely where the money's at, them and beaver, so. And I have yet to pick up a beaver either today. Which I'm kind of surprised by, but is what it is. I'm battling some fluctuating water a little bit, so it's only a matter of time till them beavers are in trouble. They'll make a mistake, but I'll get him out of here. Come on, buddy. There we go. It's a really faint trail. This is actually where I'm really hoping to pick up a bobcat, but I'll definitely take a skunk too. Heck, the skunk might be worth more than your typical Iowa bobcat is, so. Definitely take that skunk. Make sure my safeties are off. This rat stretcher here is kind of wild, guys. It's, the sucker's got quite the quite the strength to it. So I'm, I smell a little skunk, but he definitely didn't spray. He's not a very big skunk, but we'll definitely take him. Love catching skunks. All right. Just set this back how we had it our grass through same thing on the other side there we go guys take our little skunky here and get down the road all right guys we got a total mud ball down here but there's this culvert here going to this cattle pasture uh got another cattle pasture on the other side of the road with a big timber down there so we are stacking them up today i don't i have no idea what we're at but i'll tell you this right now is definitely well over my personal best by a long shot and we've caught so many coon in 220s today that I, it's a record i don't think i'll beat for a long time the amount of stuff i've caught in 220s it's just awesome but anyways guys we'll get him taken care of and maybe try and wash him off he needs a bath about time you're starting to pick up now it's the second one uh, really glad to see him it's kind of a weird spot to catch a skunk kind of a, just a wet little low area I'm, i don't know if i've ever caught, really caught skunks in a wet low area like this one but he doesn't smell too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and get him out of here and get this remade. We'll be heading on down the road. All right, guys, we're in another one here. Got another double. Nice coon here going into this tube. Nice coon there going into that tube. So we got a lot of doubles today, guys. Doubles and triples. A lot of single stuff too, but the doubles and triples are the ones you remember. Those are those are the fun ones. So anyways, guys, I'm gonna get, get these two taken care of and give them a ride in the truck and we'll be down the road. As you remember this weird concrete culvert deal uh, we got ourselves a nice beautiful 3x coon really long hair on it um, we're gonna get him taken care of and we'll be moving down the road we're about to start wrapping up where we got 50 or 60 more locations to go got another beautiful coon in a 220 here go ahead this is an absolute ideal 220 location i want to show you guys if i can there we go there's one Go ahead and pull this baby up. There's two. Just like that, guys. You can get them out of here. It takes takes some practice, you know, but you you can get fast at it. Especially if you're young and dumb like me and you just like beating the tar out of your body. Then it's fine, but I I prefer setting them with my hands. I don't know. I'm sure there'll be someone that says that setting them with your hands is dumb, but to me it's nothing to set them with my hands. It's the same as setting them with setters, and I'd lose my setters within two stops anyways so i just use my hands but i want to show you guys so you got this little slope here coming off the uh the road and i just put my 220 right in here at an angle it's about two inches off the ground there um 
just funnel them through doesn't take much uh, find a little bit more grass here I can use it to funnel them in Go over here funnel that side I think it looks perfect I'll take another one let's get down the road all right you guys the shadow kind of sucks here but if you remember I talked about this tile here and that I thought coon were living in it so I set a DP here I'm out in the middle of nothing there ain't timber for probably four or five hundred yards from this spot we got a big beautiful 4x coon here so absolutely awesome I'm glad that worked out and I just set this on a hunch guys and it paid off sometimes you just have to test out your theories um, I know that's how I learn a lot of stuff is I just end up actually testing it out myself see what happens you can learn a lot from people telling you stuff but you also learn the most when you're out there actually trapping so anyways guys all right guys finally uh, I can see a nice flat tail sitting out here uh, whoa quite a deep little hole going here now but the caster's still on that stick there so we'll just put that back you guys are used to seeing me do this started out my YouTube with the beaver trapping so what do we got oh baby it looks like a nice one too oh yeah that's what i'm talking about perfect front foot i was going for a back foot but this water's been dropping so we nailed him by the front foot there heck yeah i had five beaver sets out i was hoping for two only got one uh, the fluctuating water kind of messed me up but that's that's a dang good beaver there guys that's probably a 50 mid high 40s to 50 awesome i love catching beaver it's also nice to see something different than than a coon every once in a while i'll, I'll admit that one right off the bat but go ahead and do a remake here get my stake driven in i like how this water dropped in here so now i can get my trap and some about eight inches of water which is how i like it so get that baby put back in there uh there she's ready for another one that's a nice beaver guys well guys we got another double here that one's laying there dead uh, not sure what's going on with that one but then we got an empty one and we got another one right there so we're gonna get them taken care of days getting long sun's going down so we got to move got another double here they're both wet but there's number two so get them taken care of and get out of here thing i like to do as well is blind one and a halves and little stuff like this it's just a little little spring that feeds the creek down below where i just had that double but i always put a blind one and a half in here and it pays off awesome every single time so there's something to think about guys just about to wrap up the day here only a couple more stops left but we got this beautiful coon that wants a piece of me you want tango buddy but anyways guys we're about done for the day last coon of the day here today is a big boy he's he's actually got something wrong with one of his eyes i'm not sure what's going on with that but last coon of the day long day it's about 4 50 in the afternoon here we've been running since about 5 15 this morning so been a long day but we caught a lot i'm not sure on the total tally yet but i'll get back to you guys when we get home with a number all right guys we just got back here today i uh, picked up that nice beaver but we got 86 coon laying right here i'll go in my first shed here we got 87 in here so ended up today with 173 coon uh, i need to start skinning uh, it's it's go time now i gotta get rolling so anyways guys hope you enjoyed this video it's gonna be a crazy week this week for me and we're gonna just keep rolling out these coon so anyways guys appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up uh subscribe to my channel because we got a lot more content coming just like this a lot of coon maybe not 173 that is a lot but there will be a lot of coon that are getting <coughs> caught throughout this season so Anyways, guys, I appreciate y'all watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.